Today I'm going to tell you about kinkajous. A kinkajou is a tropical rainforest mammal of the family Procyonidae, related to Olingos, Coatis, Raccoons, and the ringtail Cacomisil. An adult kinkajou weighs 3 to 10 pounds. The adult body length is 16 to 24 inches. In addition to body length, the length of the prehensile tail is 16 to 24 inches. The kinkajou's woolly fur consists of an outer coat of gold or brownish gray, overlapping a gray undercoat. It has large eyes and small ears. Kinkajous range from east and south of the Sierra Madres in Mexico, throughout Central America to Bolivia, east of the Andes, and the Atlantic forest of southeastern Brazil. Their attitudinal range is from sea level to 2,500 meters. They are found in closed canopy tropical forests, including lowland forest, montane forest, dry forest, gallery forest, and secondary forest. Deforestation is thus an unfortunate potential threat to this species. Although kinkajous are classified in the order of carnivora and have sharp teeth, its omnivorous diet consists of mainly fruit, particularly figs. Studies have shown that 90% of their diet consists of primarily ripe fruit. To eat softer fruit, they hold it with their forepaws, then scoop out the succulent pulp with their tongue. They may play an important role in seed dispersal, Leaves, flowers, and various herbs make up much of the other 10% of their diet. They sometimes eat insects, particularly ants. It has been suggested without direct evidence that they may occasionally eat bird eggs and small vertebrates. Their frugivorous habits are actually convergent with those of dinaural spider monkeys. The kikajou's slender 5-inch extrudable tongue helps the animal to obtain fruit and lick nectar from flowers so that it sometimes acts as a pollinator. Nectar is also sometimes obtained by eating entire flowers. Kinkajous spend most of their life in trees to which they are particularly well adapted. Like raccoons, kinkajous remarkable manipulatory abilities rival those of primates. The kinkajou has a short-haired full pretensile tail, like some new world monkeys, which it uses as a fifth hand in climbing. It does not use its tail for grasping food. It can rotate its ankles and feet 180 degrees, making it easy for the animal to run backwards over tree limbs and climb down tree head first. Sand glands near their mouth, on the throat, and on the belly allow kingajous to mark their territory and their travel routes. Kingajous sleep in family units and groom one another. A nocturnal animal, the kingajou peaks activity is usually between about 7 p.m. and midnight and again an hour before dawn. During daylight hours, kinkajous sleep in tree hollows or in shaded tangles of leaves, avoiding direct sunlight. Kinkajous breed throughout the year, giving birth to one or occasionally two small babies after a gestation period of 112 to 118 days. Kinkajous are sometimes kept as exotic pets. They are playful, generally quiet, docile, and have little odor. However, they can occasionally be aggressive. Kinkajous dislike sudden movements, noise, and being awake during the day. An agitated kinkajou may emit a scream and attack, usually clawing its victims and sometimes biting deeply. In 2011, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention reported that pet kinkajous in the United States can be carriers, fecal oral route of the raccoon roundworm, which is capable of causing severe morbidity and even death in humans if the brain is infected. In El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, pet kinkajous are commonly called Leon, meaning lion monkey. In Peru, pet kinkajous are commonly referred to as Leron. The Leron is often described as a bear monkey or bear monkey hybrid. Kinkajous live an average of about 23 years in captivity with a maximum record lifespan of 41 years. Thanks for watching this Adventures Kids episode.